An internet protocol or an IP address is a unique identifying number assigned to a device that connects to the internet. It functions as an online device address. While it is often overlooked by most users, it is a powerful tool that hackers can take advantage of to get insights about our online activities. There are two main types of IP addresses, public IP addresses and private IP addresses. Grasping the difference between them is essential before diving deeper into networking concepts. Whenever your router connects to the internet, your ISP assigns it a unique IP address. This address acts as your network's identifier on the vast internet, enabling devices to communicate and data to be transmitted efficiently. It's like a unique house number on a street, essential for finding your network among countless others. But your router doesn't directly share this public IP address with all the devices connected to it. Instead, it assigns another kind of IP address to each device on your network, known as a private or local IP address. This system was created to solve the issue of limited public IP addresses. Each private IP is unique within your network, allowing devices to find and communicate with each other internally. Private IP addresses establishes a unique internal addressing system within your network, while the public IP serves as your network's single identity on the broader internet. While a local IP address alone isn't particularly useful for a hacker outside your network, it's not entirely harmless. On the other hand, if a hacker gains access to your public IP address, it can be a security risk. While it doesn't automatically grant them access to your devices, it could be used for targeted attacks or malicious scans. Here are the few things a hacker can do with a public IP address. IP address can be used to determine the geographical location of a device or user. Rest assured, it can't pinpoint your exact location or home address. However, it can determine the city or region where your device is located. Even if location tracking seems relatively harmless, a skilled hacker can use this information to retrieve personal information from your ISP. A distributed denial of service attack is a malicious attempt to flood a website, server, or network with traffic from multiple sources. In this scenario, attackers use a network of compromised computers, often called botnet to send an overwhelming amount of data on your device. As a result, the device's performance slow down become a sluggish or is a rendered inaccessible to users. Hackers usually launch DDoS attacks to extort money from companies. They may threaten to continue the attack unless a ransom is paid. If a hacker has your IP address, they can use a port scanner like Nmap to identify open ports on your device or network. A port scanner is a tool used to determine which network ports are open, closed, or filtered. By scanning for open ports, a hacker can identify potential vulnerabilities and gain access to your device. From there, they can infect your device with malware, steal sensitive information stored on your device, identify passwords or credit card information, and impersonate you for fraudulent activities. Not all hackers are interested in stealing personal information. Some want to sell IP addresses on the dark web for profit. Other malicious actors may buy them for hacking, phishing, fraud, and DDoS attacks. Many jurisdictions have laws and regulations against selling IP addresses. Engaging in the unauthorized sale of IP addresses can result in legal consequences. Impersonation often involves creating fake profiles, using similar usernames and crafting convincing messages meant to fool others. While IP addresses are not the main tool for impersonation, they can be combined with other techniques to make the deception believable. Hackers could obtain personal details, such as your name, phone number, birth date, and social security number. Using this information, they can create fake websites or social media profiles to impersonate you. For example, a hacker may use IP addresses associated with the victim's location to buy illegal drugs online or incite hate speech. If authorities discover you, it will be difficult to prove your innocence. All right, everyone, that's all I have for you today. Please have a subscribe and don't forget to thumb up.